Brian Burnett. This is a good tip. Watch this. Two ways to recover deleted files in Windows 10. Brian Burnett here, and I'm going to give you a little tip in Windows 10 in case you lose some files. Now, we're all pretty familiar with if you delete a file, it goes to the recycling bin, and you can just pull it out of there and put it back on your desktop. But what happens if you empty your recycling bin and there's something in there that you wanted? You can download a program like Recover, and it will scan through your recycling bin and give you the files. Now, through process of elimination, you can figure out what file it was that got deleted. They don't have the former file name, but you can find a .wave, which is the file I was looking for to recover. You can also use it to scan your entire computer. Now, what happens if you run into a situation where you delete a big file? You know, like 8 gigs or something bigger than that. Sometimes you'll get prompted with deleting the file immediately, and it will skip the process of going to your recycle bin. If that happens, what you can do is make a new folder, rename it to what the old folder's name was, and then go into the properties, go to previous versions, and do a restore. And Windows will restore your folder back to what it was. And as you can see, I have all my pictures and videos back. So that's just a quick tip if you ever uh, delete something from the recycling bin that you didn't need to. I think a lot of people don't know about Windows 10 versioning, and that, that is really, really useful. Fascinating. Yeah, shadow copy. Yeah, look, All at, right. look at Brian with a tip. There you go. Yeah, yeah look Brian. at that guy. Look at good that job, guy. Brian. All He's right. good looking, but who knew he was that <laughs> no. smart too, right? All right. <laughs>